Hello, good day. Today I am going to discuss to you how to assist a client during breastfeeding. So first of all, we need to wash our hands using soap and water. Washing advised by the CDC. You need to properly wash your hands so that the infant or the baby won't get any infection from you. Another thing that you need to remember is to instruct your client to wash also her hands during giving breastfeeding to her baby. So next step is we need to prepare all the necessary things that we will be using such as the, the chair, the bib, and our pillow. So we, for example, if your, your client is laying on her bed, you need to assist her in sitting her in a proper position. It's easier if you are or if they have a hospital bed so you can just easily adjust the board of the bed. But if you don't have, you only have a regular bed, then you can just use pillow so that the, the client can lean upon her back on the pillow. So why you need to assist the client during breastfeeding? There are some clients that needs to undergo some more recovery during, af during and after her cesarean or any other surgery. So as a car carer, we need to assist her in doing the breastfeeding. So next step is to prepare the baby on breastfeeding. We need to make sure that we need to, we will put bib on her neck. Hi Carla, how are you? So this is it. Carla is ready for her breastfeed. Next step is we need to put Carla on her mother's, on her mother's arm. So, for example, I am the mother, I will teach you how to perform the cross cradle hold. So, if your hand has, if you have a dominant right hand, what you're going to do is support Carla's hand or Carla's hand using your right hand and the rest of the body using your right arm. And then, your free hand should be holding your areola so that you can scoop your breast towards Carla's mouth. You need also to tilt the baby's head slightly towards your breast and then perform the rooting reflex by gently putting or touching, touching your areola towards her side of the mouth. You need also to make sure that you will give the client uh, a pillow to support her arm because the process on breastfeeding will actually last for about 20 minutes. Another thing during breastfeeding is um, usually the client may, may ask you why is it their left their left breast is not similar in size with the right breast. Why is it? Because the client may have overused or over breast you or overused her breast in the other side during breastfeeding. So you need to instruct the client that she can actually use or alternate her breastfeeding in the right or in the left side so that 
um, their breast is still in the in the same size, even if they are giving breastfeed to their baby. You need also to make sure that the level of the baby should be leveled off the breast of the mother and make sure and instruct the client that they need to be focused on giving breastfeeding to their infant. Why? Because a lot of death of infants in the USA is caused by suffocation during breastfeeding. So they, you need to take away all of the gadgets, the books, the iPad if necessary so that the mother can actually focus in giving breastfeeding to her infant. Another technique in giving breastfeeding is the cradle hold. When we say cradle hold, is your gut. it's an opposite of the cross hold. So now, your, for example, if your left hand is your dominant hand, so you will going to put under under it to the buttocks of your baby under the buttocks and then you're gonna support your the back of the baby using your left arm and then using your free hand you're gonna scoop your breast towards the baby towards the baby's mouth and then perform the sucking the the rooting reflex again another position is using the football hold so they said that the football hold is the most, um, the most admirable, admirable position by all the mothers. Why? Because they said it's much easier. So what you're going to do is to hold the baby's hand or the baby's head using your dominant hand. So for example, you want your baby to, to you want to give your baby a breastfeed using your right breast then you need to hold your baby using your right hand so hold the baby said using your right hand and support your body using your right arm and then the same thing as for example and for example if you're going to um to breastfeed your baby um using your different breasts you need first to put the baby in a recline position recline position not transfer it right away you need to gain um to gain your to gain your flex or to gain your energy so after 20 minutes for example you need to um put the baby in a recline position and then transfer the baby onto your other breast and use your other dominant hand so another step or technique in breastfeeding is the side lying position. So what you're gonna do is, for example, you're going to give your baby breastfeeding using your your right your right breast. Then you you need to go sidewards, right sidewards, and then you're going to hold your baby. Make sure that your tummy and your tummy and her tummy should be leveled off. And then you can actually tilt, tilt your baby slightly towards you. And then you can also use um, pillows in supporting your back. And then your you can also put some pillows on the mother's back so that you can also support the mother's weight on the back using the pillow. Because it's really tedious. This process is so tedious for the mothers. And the same as well if you're going to um, give the baby breastfed, breastfeeding using your left hand, then you're gonna, you're gonna, you want your client to be instructed that she needs to um, move sideward in her left and then put the baby on the left side. So again, it is, you need to uh, make sure that you instruct your client to focus during breastfeeding because you don't want the baby to be suffocated because this because this position is so tiring i think this is the most tiring position among the five techniques by the way you need to remember that you need to ensure that the your breast 
was swallowed or was inside the mouth of your of your baby at least one and a half inches of your areola because that is the advisable um, area which the baby can actually um, do do sucking on your breast and then the last technique this will be the last is the football hole for wheels so it is a combination actually of a football hold and also a cradle hold. So when you say football hold, so your other hand will support the baby's head and your entire arm will support the baby's body and then for the cradle hold, your, your hand should be supporting the baby's buttocks and then the entire other hand should be support arm should be supporting the butt, the baby's body so this is actually very complex so carers caregivers you are indeed a very vital part in breastfeeding successfully doing the breastfeeding to the baby so make it make it successful and make it as comfortable as you can that the client feel that she is comfortable in doing so and this is all thank you for listening